Good morning, everybody. Yesterday, I made a sale on Etsy and I wanted to create a little gift to go in it. And so I created a one sheet mini album or a little flip book. And I wanted to come out and show you today. This is it. And uh, both that I ended up making two because it takes like only an hour to make. So I used the Blossoms and Butterflies deck by DCWV, and I love this because it has glitter and foil in it. And here's the first one that I made. This card is Becky Higgins' Project Life. Here I just used um, Velcro, and then I added some photo corners so that the person receiving it could just put their little photos right in there, here and here. The center, I made a pocket. And I have some cards in there from We Are Memory Keepers. And again, this matches. So here's how it looks open. Here's another one that I made. I used a rub-on to add the word live. But isn't that paper gorgeous? With all the glitter. Here's the back. Again, Becky, Higg Becky Higgins Project Life card. And that's how that looks. And there you go, again, adding the photo corners. Some more cards. Now what I found in making this design, which was from Tracy Cornelius, is that she provided a little lip here where I did this first design went flush and while this is easy to open I found this actually easier to open and it has a magnetic closure on it so I thought I'd show you real quick how to make this you just need one 12 by 12 sheet of paper going to score at three and three fourths at four seven and seven eighths and eight and one eight turn the page 90 degrees to the left or right <laughs> score at two and an eighth and then at seven and one fourth. Hopefully you can see the score lines. I'll put it closer. Not sure if that makes it worse or better. This side has some texture to it. And this side doesn't and actually has the bumps. So then the next thing you want to do is cut from the bottom to the score line and you're going to cut out that little middle piece right here. You're going to cut out that strip here and here and on the top as well. Now, I'm not a very straight cutter, so sometimes I do have to go back and try to make it better.
cardstock that I'm using is Coordinations. I think I picked it up at Joann's. And a pack called Over the Rainbow. Once you have those cut out, I burnish everything. Now, in Tracy's videos, she burnishes first and then cuts, but I found it's actually easier to cut the lines before they're burnished, even though it does make it more cumbersome to do it after the fact. And when I look to see how it's folded, I can then tell if I need to cut more off if there's some coming over the score line. And there you have it. One thing to remember is as you're putting this together, make sure to add your magnets here and here before you add your decorative paper. Another thing is you can leave these long if you like. However, in Tracy's video, she does cut all three of them down one and a fourth. She cuts off one and a fourth of all these. I don't. I cut off one and a fourth off the two ends and then what I do on the middle is I fold it down and it gives it this nice decorative edge which you could actually you know use your punch and make it more decorative than this but I do like the rounding. It gives it some contrast and a place for your eyes to land. And that's about the difference there. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to cut it. You can use your envelope punch board, the back of it, to punch out the round corners, or you can leave them square if you like. There's really a lot of ways that you can do this. It's all up to you. But I just wanted to show you how, and for decorating it, I will leave that to you, and I will put the measurements below. Thank you, everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this little show and tell and tutorial.